Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a demonstration video here in the office. It's gonna be real quick, try to keep it under a couple minutes. That way I can add this video to the description of these two products and you guys know the differences and kind of which one you should buy. So with that said, we offer two different types here and two different si or three different sizes. We have 1.5 inch, one inch and three quarter inch and these are bulkhead wrenches. Now you notice there's two different versions. We have the open top and the closed. So uh, with that said, let's go and talk about the open top first. Now with this hobby, a lot of us who are just starting out tend to over tighten our bulkheads and we break our tank. You I know this because I get emails about it consistently asking if the tank is still good, what they can do about it. And then I've done it myself a couple times, especially with the low boys, the really thin glass, that they're just not the greatest tank. I've broken them before. So this uh, bulkhead wrench is my attempt to kind of prevent that from happening. Now it's not 100% foolproof. You can still crank on it depending on how thick the glass is and you can break it, but this is a good way to help you judge what's, uh, what's tight enough. So. What happens is as you're starting to tighten this this nut, it's going to slip. Hopefully you guys can see that. I know it's a little weird on camera, but um, it starts to slip over the nut itself. You guys hear that? Okay. Now, what's that? What that what that means is that it's tight enough, and then the wrench kind of gives out a little bit, and it slips over. So you, hopefully preventing you from over tightening the bulkhead. Now, uh, the issue I'm having is people are buying these when they're trying to remove the nut. Now, it does work on some tanks depending on how tight it was there originally, but most of the time it's not going to work because that nut's been there for a long time. It's probably got salt creep on it. Probably was a wet tank. Like I like to put the bulkheads out when my glass is still a little wet from uh, painting the back of the tank because it helps seal a little bit more. It's personal preference. And you're just not going to get that nut off with this. It keeps slipping and then you're going to get mad and send me an email. Tell me how crappy the product is. Well, you bought the wrong one, dude, or do that. So that's where this one comes in place. And it's also more for people who have done it many times and they know, kind of can judge uh, what's what's appropriate pressure-wise. Now, this, this just allows you to go on here. It's not gonna slip because it's completely enclosed. And then you can just take it off without any issues, vice versa, put it back on and you can kind of feel how tight it is. So that's why I developed the two. And uh, that's kind of the whole point of this video, just to kind of clarify that. So with that said, if you guys uh, would like to support the channel, head over to fishhooks.com. We got the buy, the buy three, yes, buy three, get one free. Add four 3D printed items to your cart. One of them will be free at checkout. So I appreciate all the support, ton of support. You guys, you know, with the economy the way it is and how money is with people, you guys continue to support the channel and you help keep my lights on, feed my kids. You know, I really do appreciate it, definitely. So with that said, I'm done talking. See you later. Peace.